Hi, I'm Colin Klupik. I'm on the marketing team here at Central. Hi, I'm Leanne Garcia. I'm a customer success manager here at Central. In this video, we'd like to share a quick story with you from one of our schools that's been benefiting from using the Central for Parents app and the Central Parent Portal. Leanne, what can you tell us about the school? Yeah, Colin, I got to chat with Julie from Oak Hill Drive Public School. They're a school in Sydney's Northwest and they have about 800 students. Now, this is an interview that you recorded a little while ago. Why don't we cut to that interview now and we'll come back at the end. Let's do that. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining us today. Um, Parent Portal is a feature of Central that your school has been using for quite some time now. Um, can you tell me how it has impacted your admin staff? Yeah, hi Leanne, thanks for the opportunity to talk about Central and the Parent Portal. Um, we are really embracing Central and the Parent Portal for mo many different things. Most recently, we have started using the portal for our activities and our permission notes. It's impacting by our, our admin staff because they're doing the role that the teachers were doing previously. Previously, teachers would write a note, our admin team would photo note, send them home, bring them back. They may or may not have come back. It was quite a process. So we've upskills our administrative team so that they can be in charge of the, the notes, which is fantastic. Um, that's had an incredible impact on our teaching staff because they're not using their time in administrative tasks, which is incredibly useful for them because they've got so many other things that they need to be doing rather than admin. We also use the parent portal for our um, attendance module. And this means that the parents, their child's absence, they're able to notify the school, the reason why their child's away. And our admin team are the ones doing the following up. So we've removed that from the teacher's workload as well. Um, by using the central parent portal, we're complying with the Department of Education's attendance policy in our um, the time frame that we have to follow up on attendance matters. Our parents are finding it really quick and easy to use for attendance um, and really pleasing. When we had our visit from our homeschool liaison officer last week, she reported that we had 100% compliance with attendance, with zero red in attendance, which she said was quite unusual. That's but fantastic. I don't, think doing, yeah, I don't think we're doing anything different other than use the power of the central app for attendance. Um, and that's an, and my next point is um, good communication within in the school community can sometimes be a challenge. Um, can you tell us how you manage how you were managing it beforehand, and um, how it's changed for the school community now? Yeah, communication is really hard with any large organisation. We've got about eight hundred students, so there's a lot of people that we're needing to send a lot of information to and receive information from. I think that for us, what has happened over the years is we, as society has become more digitised, we picked up various different apps and programs to communicate different things with our parent bodies. So we've been using Central for just over a year, a year and a term nearly. Prior to that, we used several different applications. We used one for attendance, a different one for sharing our student semester reports, another one for school interviews, um, and another one for daily messages. Makes it hard to manage all of those different platforms, doesn't it? Yeah, both from a school viewpoint and a parent viewpoint. So we did an audit of all of our systems and went out to the marketplace and looked at different products to determine who we were going to go with. We decided to go with Central and part of that was the functionality of the parent portal. We now have 100% of our parents on the parent portal using it regularly and this has been a really big shift for us with, um, with the parents fully engaged in using the portal and it's been um, mm -hmm. really well regarded by the community as well. What kind of feedback have you received from your parents? I oh, look, they're really responsive and really happy. They're really happy that they've got the flexibility to be able to use their phone to respond to a permission note. They don't need to wait till they get home and get a pen and, you know, find time after dinner to fill in a form. Um, 
they're, I, they're, they're very responsive, very happy to, to be using the parent portal. Our original plan with Central was to go slow, was to start using it for a couple of the modules to go slow and gradually build, build on from there. However, we found the fun functionality to be so good, we kept on doing more and more really quite quickly. Our staff buy-in was really positive, which was exciting because change is hard and we were used to our old systems and we liked our old systems. However, they, can, they like the fact that it's a one-stop shop. Nearly everything about our students is, is communicated through Central by using the various parts of the program. So it's easy for them to be using Central on a daily basis for many parts of um, our day-to-day -day administration for students. Um, now, what would you say to a school who hasn't yet adopted Central? What sort of tips um, and guides would you give them? I do recommend starting slow with something like attendance and marking the role because we have to do that daily. And as teachers start to get more and more familiar with it, they'll realise the capacity of the program. So I do think that um, it is worth going slow because there's too much um, cognitive overload to implement everything at once. So go slow and then gradually build on that success. Um, activities, can you tell us a little bit more about activities? How are you using activities at your school? How are you managing um, all, all of that side of things? Yeah, sure. So we started using activities last year when we started using our the central for the semester reports. We started using activities just to create the role so that we could use the automatic functionality of activities going into the semester reports. That meant it was one less job for teachers to do for semester reports. So I'm all about taking work away from the teachers and allowing um, a system to do it so that it's more efficient. So we started with that, then we moved to creating the roles. So for example, our teachers could take children off site for a sport game. So they did that through the activities. So we started dipping our toes into the water with activities that way. This year we've set up a system so that we're using the activities through the parent portal to provide permission. So that's been a really steep learning curve for us, but it's, it's very successful. What we've done is we've got a flow chart to determine what's an activity needing um, a role and permission and what's just a parent, a parent portal information note. From that, the teachers complete a form, a Microsoft form, which gives the admin team the data that they need to be able to write the permission note. We've used um, the, the templates in Central to come up with standard notes, which the admin team then write. Um, and we've also created a generic risk assessment using the Department of Education's um, framework for excursions, and the admin team are able to complete that risk assessment as well. That information goes to parents through the parent portal, the parents give their permission to, for their child to attend the event. And we're using the question functionality of the activity to dial down into more information. So as example, we set this up for a swimming carnival, which is obviously a high risk event that we hold at school. Parents were able to nominate whether their child was a strong swimmer, a strong swimmer, or a weaker swimmer, or couldn't swim at all using that question functionality. We then um, publish the activity to the portal and within two hours we would have say 500 out of 600 um, students have their permission in that time. A little bit of a follow-up once again using the parent portal we would get a few more and then we can move towards just those one or two children because of course on the parent portal you can send a message to the whole school to a grade, to a class, to a particular group. So for example, a dance group or just one or two children. So there's that functionality to really target the information to the parents. I'm really conscious that I don't want the parents getting ping, ping, ping all the time 
from the portal because then they may not engage in it. So we're getting our admin team to target the message to the audience that's intended so that those parents are informed and that those parents um, can respond. The other beauty, I think, of having the information on the portal is that they've got the what to bring, where we're going, what time to come to school. It's all there on their phone linked to that activity. So we're all helping each other communicate and helping our students um, participate in activities, which is what it's all about. That's exactly right. It's always about the kids. Um, Julie, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Um, and we're really glad that uh, you've, you've found the central um, app and portal really successful in your school. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Leanne. Leanne, that's a great story. When you talk to other schools about using the Central Parent Portal and the Central for Parents app, what's another standout benefit that they keep mentioning? Time saving is really important, but it's also just being able to communicate with their parents and their school community. Yeah, communication. We might do a video specifically on that at another time. And if you enjoyed that interview with Julie, then please share it with a colleague. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's new content coming out every week to help you get the most out of Central, including content on the Central for Parents app and the Central Parent Portal. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.